and then great ostma log from the plus no mas tingo la dor den genetio la zat estimistic sefe you are able white to, to wipe every debt you got out by may 23rd that just came to me by the spirit you know, a few months ago, I released a short video called Devil Obligations, the Kenneth Copeland edition. There's plenty amount of evidence that supports that Kenneth Copeland is an overseer to Bill Winston and Creflo Dollar, and that they are running a false prosperity gospel racket and are on the hook for devil obligations. In other words, if they ever decide to get delivered from those devil obligations, they will have to return all four decades worth the wealth that they stole from the church. Now, the carnal man will say, that's crazy. God bless them with that wealth. I will explain why they are hired by Satan and they need to repent before it's too late. Kenneth Copeland at the recording of this video is 86 years old and Bill Winston just turned 80. The lake of fire patiently awaits. And the devil is not getting screwed on the deal he makes with men who refuse to repent. Let's take a look at the abstract of Bill Winston's book called Vengeance. It says you will learn that vengeance results from God's love of justice and it is not revenge, a worldly principle unacceptable in the kingdom of God. The day of the Lord's vengeance will usher in God's restoration for every area of your life. Now, what he often does is make vague, feel-good statements that apply to all people. His message is laced with prosperity incentives. I will get more into this false doctrine later, but it's alarming the things I found in Bill Winston's background. First, here in the Chicagoland area in Forest Park, he has what is called the Living Word Christian Center. I have personally visited Bill Winston's bookstore, which is a part of the center. Now, the bookstore does not carry the authentic version of the Apocrypha, which has the book of Jasher and the book of Enoch. The scriptures say there are plagues coming upon those who add or remove to the words of the book. Okay. And there is a negative connotation with the word center. Okay. It smells like FEMA camps. In addition to that, Bill Winston and Kenneth Copeland are ex-military. Winston is a graduate of Tuskegee Institute, and they're known for conducting tests and experiments on black men on behalf of the Center for Disease Control. What are the odds? Now, how does a man with this sinister, suspicious background become a megachurch pastor? It would not surprise me if Kenneth Copeland and Bill Winston were MK Ultra mind program subjects uh, subjected to or victims of memory implantation, hypnosis, and all sorts of uh, PSYOP programs by the military, by the CIA. Okay, and it's most likely that Kenneth Copeland was made his handler. So now... Bringing heaven to earth. So that was heaven's solution to, to have me to get to shopping mall. But the apostles were homeless and poorly clothed. Christ was homeless. What do you mean heaven's solution? Now, I told you, Wednesdays is going to be advanced topics. He, if you get what I'm saying, now you wait, I'm going to show you some pictures here. He is insisting that we come up yes. Yes. and we can come up, but it's like Jesus with the disciples on the boat and the storm came and they woke him up, accusing him, asking him, did he really care about them? And he got up, rebuked the wind, said to the sea, peace be still. And then he turned to them. He said, why, verse 40 of Mark chapter four, verse 40, why are you so fearful? How is that you have what? No, no faith. If they were not able to rebuke that storm, he would never have said that. Yeah. Yeah. 
you are able wipe it, to wipe every debt you got out by May 23rd. That just came to me by the Spirit. There you go, lying on the Holy Spirit. He never tells them exactly how they can do that. Yes, Bill Winston can wipe every debt out by May because he's operating a multi-million dollar racket where he preaches a false gospel, convincing most mostly silly women that they can get rich from practicing false gospel. I mean, will a man rob God? Yes, he will. <laughs> All he got to do is just run a scam on the church. All men have not faith. Yeah. Here's what he's saying. They don't have that. You've got faith and faith is your servant. Yes, sir. So faith knows where to get your tuition money from. Yeah. Yeah. Faith knows. See, you, you've got something they don't have. And this is why Jesus got on them when he, they didn't stop the storm. He said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is your faith? He, he wouldn't have said it if their faith wasn't supposed to be at a certain level by now. And that's why I said, I'm going to the next level and I'm not coming down. That was a powerful thing I gave you, you know, uh, about put it in bags that wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that faileth not, uh, where no moth corrupt, no uh, thieves break through and seal for where your treasure is, there will you are. That's a powerful revelation. That's saying I can take my bank around with me. My bank is in the invisible in my heart. And when I'm ready for something, I can make a withdrawal. Isn't that powerful? Now, you see how he just twisted that scripture? Matthew chapter 6, verse 21, where your treasure is, your heart will be also. Uh, chapter 6, verse 20 says, lay up yourselves treasures in heaven. This passage is pointing to Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. You cannot serve God and mammon. It says nothing about carrying your bank around with you like Winston just exaggerated. In verse 20, he already said, storing your treasures on earth is moth-eating and rusted. It's corroded. James chapter 5, verse 1 through 3 says, Come now, you rich, weep and howl for your miseries that are coming upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver are corroded, and their corrosion will be a witness against you and will eat your flesh like fire. Okay, Apostle James goes on to say how the rich, talking about the descendants of slave owners, they kept back our wages by fraud. It was not earned. It was stealing. Just like Bill Winston is stealing. Okay. We must dig deep into why Christ said it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to inherit the kingdom of God. Uh, check out the next video, Bible study with Bill Winston and Kenneth Copeland, where I provide more scriptures. I just wanted to talk surface level first before we take a deeper dive.